Hey, what's up guys? I'm back again with a new series for you guys, Pokemon 3D. Uh, I've already had a go at this game previously in like a previous version of it where it originally had the Kanto starters instead of the uh, Johto starters. Since this game is based on the Gold Silver series, Crystal as well, I mean if you want to add that in. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, let's get this one started. I just ate some prunes. Damn, man, I need to take a dump. Whoop whoop. Anyway, uh, if you guys are a fan of the series, you guys would already know that Professor Oak is already a part of this game. I don't know why. Uh, it should be Professor Elm introducing us or something like that. I don't know. I think it should be right doing it that way. And we all know he doesn't know who he's talking to. I mean, he's looking directly at you. He can't tell if you're a boy or a girl. He doesn't even know your name. This guy is just an absolute old Alzheimer's guy. I have no idea what's wrong with him. I think he's Alzheimer's. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Anyway, guys, you get the options of going with Ethan, the Skox guy, Hilbert, Hilda, uh, you get Vlas, okay, uh, Bug Catcher, and Youngster, Youngster Joey, that bastard. Um, usually in the previous uh, versions, you guys get the option of playing as either blue or red, or in the anime series, if that's all you watch, um, they're also known as Gary and Ash. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm going to go with Ethan, because he looks a bit like uh, lanky old me, so we'll go with that. Change my name, put it down. Yep, that's my name, Professor Oak. I'm going to eat this last prune, hold up. Mm, yum, 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 it's going straight to my bum. <laughs> and uh, this is pretty much the room right here. Now, this poster here pretty much tells you uh, what the controls are on the game. Uh, I don't want to read it because it's just really unnecessary. I mean, up, down, left, right on your uh, WSAD. Pretty much all you really need to know. I think you can go F5 and I change it to third person. You can walk around like a little turd like that. I might just go with this because he looks pretty like dopey. And then over here, you get the option to go and check out all of the uh, donators. So, let's pretty much give these guys a little shout out. Kim Nate. Uh, back when I was playing this, only one donator was pretty much on this uh, list right here. And I think it was Mr. Steven Sinclair, the third one there. Uh, did that rhyme? Up? Am I awesome? I think I'm pretty awesome. And right here is the map for you guys. Now, what I like about this map is that you can move your mouse anywhere around here. And it tells you in pretty solid detail like exactly where you going wherever I'm moving the mouse it tells you exactly where everything is that's pretty cool I'm not gonna lie I think it's pretty badass um, it's a really great idea and I just I hope like there is like an actual MMO version of this game coming out at some point uh, damn it I can't change it back to first person to check out my mom's beautiful face is she so beautiful I I mama Anyway, I'm gonna check out that ass. Yeah, yeah! Yeah, yeah, that's where it's at. Gotta get on that fan buzz. Uh, this is like the biggest freaking. I can't go backwards, I gotta go run around like a little turd. The biggest fridge we've ever seen. Like, look at it. You're only up to like the normal fridge. The freeze is like larger than you. Larger than laugh. That was terrible, that song. Hey Backstreet Boys, all my Backstreet Boy homies would understand that song. <laughs> oh, check this out. Oh my god, this is the ugliest hair I've ever seen. If you ever dye your hair like that, like, don't look like Alfalfa. Come on, man. What are you doing? So this is the Professor Elm slab. Ba -ba -ba. <gasps> he punched me. You bastard. Um... I don't know how he's looking into any of the place. Like, yeah, bro, you're looking straight into a wall. Either that or you're taking a mad piss. Kind of ridic. Ridic, bro. Anyway, what up, Four Eyes? What's the hell going on? See, now, I'm allowed to say Four Eyes because I'm wearing glasses myself. So, I can't, I'm not even discriminating. I'm just picking on my own kind, folks. Anyway, just let me, let me choose my Pokemon, please, because... I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, now, the previous version, I've already said it before, but the previous version of this game, you could only choose the original starter Pokemon. Um, like these three here, 
were Charmander instead of Cyndaquil. And uh, let's go to the next one. Come on. It is important, and I want to show everybody how important all these Pokemon are. Uh, Totodile, or it was Squirtle in this one right here. Uh, yes, I know the water Pokemon. Thank you, game. <laughs> and then you got uh, Chikorita, or as in the Kot Koto, Kanto version, it would have been Bulbasaur. Uh, so, since the Johto region is pretty cray cray up in the nay, I'm just going to go straight to Cyndaquil, because I really like the whole Cyndaquil evolution looking. I think he's pretty underrated in this game, um, in any of the games. But uh, my question right now is, who the hell would you guys choose? Would you go Cyndaquil, Chikorita, or would you go Totodile? Now, I would have gone Totodile, but I don't think he's really... Did I just get an achievement? <laughs> That's cool. That's a new addition I've never seen before. Um, I'm not going to rename him. I just really like the whole Tyvelosian kind of name going on. But, um, yeah. What one would you guys go for? I would have gone with Totodile. I think Totodile would have been like a really great addition, but as I said before, I think um, Cyndaquil would have been a better suited Pokemon that I need for this kind of game. So, for this generation, I mean, um, if he soon brings out like different regions into this game, that would be freaking amazing. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, right here is a little Pokemon thing. We already read that. Professor Ram just said that it was a little Healy machine thing. Uh, this guy's gonna come touch my my bits and give me stuff and. You know, it's a little hush money. Oh, it's a potion, okay. <laughs> oh, good job. <clears throat> yeah, I need to know. Okay, there isn't a window there. So, what the hell? <laughs> it makes so much sense. He's looking into a wall. Look at this lady, she's got beautiful green eyes. I just love the color of her eyes. They really match the trees and the roofs around here. You're a really good suit for this place. <laughs> anyway. Let's go on to the next place. Uh, I think this is Route 1. How do you guys pronounce it? Route 1, Route 1? I pronounce it. Oh, Route 29 or something like that. Let's read it. 29, oh my goodness. So good. Ah, let's see if we can go in with that touching a Pokemon. Damn it! Who is it? Who's gonna be my first victim? Ratata! Ratata! Dun, dun. Tackle his ugly ass. Oh, her ass. <laughs> Tackle that ass. Oh, is that a crit? <laughs> Crits all day, Cyndaquil. This was up. Give me another one, baby. Don't even need it, man. Game over. That's what's up. We're already halfway through level five, so that's pretty awesome. You have been awesome, Cyndaquil. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Oh god, that ball almost touched me in the face. Uh, that's what she said. So, uh, I think it's going to be... I remember seeing uh, the creator of this game's uh, Twitter, and he posted an image of picking up one of these things and getting an achievement. See if it works. Go me. Alright. <laughs> yes! <laughs> to the current! That's cool. I don't know what all the achievements are for, but, uh, that's cool. Oh man, this game is awesome. I played it before and it was like, meh, but now it's, oh, wow, this is the first time I've seen one of these before. This is awesome. I think it, the game suits what time you're in on your computer. So if you're playing at like six o'clock at night, then it will be nighttime in the game. That's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I think that's a really great idea. Um, really just trying to match the whole environment you're in right now as well. Just to try and make you feel like you're actually playing the game. With real life. If that makes any sense. I'm really losing the you guys, folks. I'm, I'm losing it. I'm losing myself. Come on, level up, baby. Oh! Oh, you tease. Such a D-tease. Alright. Here. And damn it! <laughs> I love how these like different little um, scenes that happen before you start battling. Usually it's just that one annoying little and this crappy little pixels just like destroy the screen. I think that my 
Nintendo DS has been destroyed or something. I don't know. It's just, it's just me. What even happened? Was it a scratch? I don't even know what attack that was. But we're going to live it to level 6. That's going to be awesome. Boom! Level 6. That's what's up. And we've got 2 HP, 1 attack, 1 defense, 1 special attack, 2 special defense, and 1 speed. That's not bad. Come back to me, Cyndaquil. Damn it, there's so many Pokemon. Dude, way too many Pokemon. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to just keep attacking. Try and level this guy up as much as possible before the first gym. Or first boss, as the uh, creator likes to call this game. Uh, mad props to the guy that made this game. It's actually incredible. Like... <laughs> I've always wanted like a first person version of this game. Um, remember when I was like a kid and I had like a really crappy, crappy computer, I always would try and go on the internet looking for like a 3D version of this game and you've finally hit it. You've actually hit like the greatest version of this game ever. Uh, okay, these aren't ready so we'll come back for them another time. Ah! Jump! And we are off into the next city. Quotation mark city. Uh, this crazy old man, let's talk to him and see what he's up about. You're a rookie, aren't you? No, actually, I'm a Pokemon Master. I'm like five generations through as a Pokemon Master, but you know, I'll, I'll let you call me rookie if you want. If that's, you know, if that's your shiny boldness jiggle wiggle, baby. <laughs> Most unnecessary turns ever. They hear your Pokemon in no time at all. You'll be, oh my god. I will be relying on them a lot. Thanks, old man. Wait, wait for me. They sell balls and catching wild Pokemon and other useful items. That's pretty cool. What am I miss some balls right now? <laughs> and uh, right here's Route Route Thirty. God. Okay. Do you guys pronounce it Route or Route? Because uh, I've said it a couple times and I keep saying uh, Route. But really, I want, I want to pronounce it as route. I really think that's the proper pronunciation of that word. But what is, you know, that's, that's not really me to judge or anything like that. Some Pokemon are found only in water. Uh, okay. I don't know why I'm not just walking directly behind him the whole time. I just have to follow him after he's had his way. It's just taking it twice as long. Uh, going up and down. Here, it's my house. Thank you for your company. I wish you luck in your journey. You gonna like invite me in? Are we gonna finish this off or? About to finish myself off. Is this, is this really happening? Okay, okay, that's cool, that's cool. I'll just, I'll finish myself off, mate, that's cool. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm gonna end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This has been Pokemon 3D. This is only the first part of very many to come. Uh, hopefully the game is fully finished in a matter of at least a month or so. Um, please, as this is the first episode or the first part, give this video a like. It actually helps me in the long run. It will help the series grow as well and it will actually show me that you guys want to see more as well. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any, any suggestions as well, don't be shy to comment down below and ask me. Uh, you know, catch this Pokemon, do this and that. Uh, you know, touch my Lily. You know what it's all about. Not black and yellow, by the way. And uh, I'll see you guys in another episode. So I'll see you guys later. Peace! 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 Yeah. <laughs>